It's happening. Nigerians are calling out. Gumi, guilty of treasonable felony, should be arrested. Hello, my wonderful people. Gumi, that's um, the man who is advocating for uh, bandits or Fulani headsmen or, um, or um, is advocating that they'll be, they should be given amnesty. I don't understand what they are giving amnesty for with the level of crime they've committed. And so Nigerians are calling on, calling on the federal government to arrest him and they should arrest him immediately because uh, people who have committed no crime are being arrested by Nigerian government and heavy allegations are levied against them. But you see the man like Gumi go scot-free and nothing is being done in that light in that regard. Everybody keeps quiet as if Gumi has committed no offense and allowed these things to happen. Truth be told, Gumi must be brought to book. You know, he knows the people. You know, in Nigeria, we don't want to end insecurity. Oh, no, we do. We don't want to end it. You know why? Do we know the people? The North know the people. They know them. They know where they are from. Gumi knows their location. He goes to them. He talks with them. He negotiates with them. So what is stopping Nigerian government from holding Gumi responsible and say, go and bring, show me this person or blah, 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 blah. So the soldiers that are lives have been taken away, these are just sacrificial lamp if you want to ask me. Let's get all the details. As Nigerians continue to rally under increasing attack by bandits, kidnappers, and insurgents, one of the Nigerian vocal society security experts, Reverend Ladi Peter Thompson, has called on the federal government to act quickly by arresting the very sole point of the situation before he engulfed the entire nation and ran all known groups, individuals suspecting to be funding these people to be made public and deal with them accordingly. Thompson wanted the spotlight beamed on activities of Gumi, an Islamic clergy who recently stated that he would stop visiting and conversion for pardon and rehabilitation of bandits as it will endanger, it will be dangerous for him to continue doing so since the federal government has declared them as a terrorist organization. The clergy said that it was baffling how someone of Gumi's character, who he used, who he said has over the years been flickering around with this Bohama bandit, was allowed to walk free while the country continues to bear the bonds of the bandits and insurgents, saying that he is guilty of treasonable felony and should be persecuted. He should be arrested. What did Sunday Boho do? Oh, Nandi Kano, that they are in custody today. Gumi has done much more, with more evidences all over the country for all to see. These are not allegations levied against him. These are real-life issues, seen by all. The evidence is there for all. But because the government of Nigeria is lopsided and do not want to say the truth as it is, they allow him to go on and carry on these activities. According to him, the only reason Gumi still moves freely about is because of the moles and government, adding that the federal government will only be taken seriously if it moves fast to arrest him and start this by bringing him, by asking him to bring them to where the locations are. Why is the federal government trying to locate where the bandits are? When Gumi goes to them every now and again and know their hideouts, saying the government of Nigeria is playing a double game and deceiving everybody. In fact, there are moles who are carrying out this terrorist activity and will not want to speak the truth and want things to remain just the way they are. He further stated that Gumi is guilty of all these allegations levied against him. And the greatest asset of any government is to speak the truth. People like Gumi should, be, should not take advantage of the masses. The North is bleeding, yet the president and everyone pretend as if nothing is going on. The continuous lies we continue to tell ourselves is why we are where we are today. And if we want to come out of it, we must be honest. Gumi and the rest of them, they know where these people are. They should do the needful and get Nigeria out of this very precious predicament we've come to find ourselves, rather than pretend that they don't know who they are. They know who they are. Arrest Gumi and let him take you to these people. End of insecurity. But no, the government of Nigeria will not do that because it is more political than real wanting to solve it that's the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth 
The government of Nigeria wants things the way they are. There are moles, there are people in government. Government of Nigeria, apparently they are happy with the way things are and do not want things to change. If they do, you will see the difference in the administration and all that follows. Gumi is a clear indication showing to everyone that Nigerian government do not want things altered. In fact, they are quite happy. Okay, they go, they go about with the people and pretend, you know, that they are trying to serve or to sa save the situation. Truth be told, they are doing no such thing. In fact, they are allowing these people. There are people in government who, you know, they are already converging and saying, let us make a ministry for bandits. That's the ministry we have their own budget to have money to say this is what we are doing. So I wonder what will not be the relevance or how it not relates to the military or security agencies, the police and all that who are bringing their budget. You see now that they have found a very lucrative business and they know exactly what they are doing. So what this man is saying is the government of Nigeria, if they truly, really wants to end insecurity, is within their power and their reach. But sadly, it does not feel very much like that. It doesn't feel very much like that. You know, if they really want to do something about it, you will clearly see there will be clear indications of what is being done, what is in the process and what is being, you know, as bad as General Sonia Bacha is, who looted Nigerian money, took it to all over the world and spread it all over where the money should be used, you know, in development of the country. As bad as he was, General Sonia Bacha said something. He said, if anything continues in a, in a, in a, in a, in a country, in a government, in a civilization, beyond a particular span of time. It is because the government have an interest in it. You know, he said with, his, with the level at which he has, he has seen and he has been in charge of the Nigerian army, if, if the government really want to crush down anything, it doesn't take them much. It doesn't take them time. But because, you know, the insecurity today is another, is another lucrative business where people have opened their central bank on this very affair and on what is going on. This is why things are the way they are currently today. This is part of the reason why people are, you know, doing what they are doing. There are moles inside the government, starting from the very presidency, going down to the legislatives, to, to Senate, to House of Rep, governors. Because if everybody comes together and speak against it with one accord, with a true sense of bringing back the soul of this nation from the hands of oppression, you will see difference. But when you have people who, when you're planning with them and sabotaging the system, you're not going anywhere fast. You see, when they have a different mindset, it can never work. Leave us a comment. Do not forget to like, or share, subscribe. Bye for now.